Hi. This week is about balance, finding balance. This is Christelle Martinet here. Thank you for joining me. It's about balance and also sharing. I do hope you enjoy the reading till we meet again. Hello, this is Christelle Martinet with another weekly reading starting May 11th. May 11th. I don't know about you, but I'm just starting to feel a little bit lighter. I feel like the burdens are starting to be removed, calm. <laughs> I'd like to think it's the calm after the storm. But um, every day is different. And let's see uh, what, what is in store for next week. I need to shuffle these cards a bit more. Just a second. I'm going to use the um, Visconti Sforza Tarot deck again. And uh, then the Vera Sibilla and the Neapolitan cards on the hand. Um, let's see. Yes, from what I'm seeing, it is starting to move outward from our internal strife. Okay, now, we have here the, um, it starts out with a Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles is when we start sharing, start moving things around, start sharing our ideas, start sharing our joy with everyone. And on either side of that, we have two very telling cards. Um, one is the King of Pentacles, so another pentacle, uh, the King of Pentacles that has his feet on the ground, slow moving, and very, very, very tangible, concrete, pragmatic. On the right side, lo and behold, lo and behold, we have our tower. Now, uh, the tower, of course, m even not being a tarot reader, people see this picture and see that people are falling from the tower and um, it, it speaks of revolution, speaks of new um, newness coming in, but it also speaks of revolutionary emotions and there's one reading of the tarot um, tower that uh, speaks of finally being able to manifest your emotions, okay? And this is the reading I'm subscribing to, especially because of the time that this reading is, um, in which it's taking place. It's after all of these many moons, new moons, and uh, such difficult changes that we've been going through. Let me go on. It's a diamond spread. Those are the first three cards. And then we have across the middle is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands always tells us, as it's drawn, to um, be ready. Uh, be ready and be on guard because little will be expected of you if not the truth. Um, this is a challenge, okay, the Ace of Swords is always a challenge, but it's also a very, very powerful card. It pierces through everything, it pierces through any kind of ideas that you may have, negative, positive, it pierces right through to the heart of the matter. And the heart of the spread today is the Eight of Pentacles. Very, very balanced. Uh, it's right under the Six of Pentacles. The Eight has a world of possibilities, and it depends on the surrounding cards which way it will go. It's a very interesting card of balance, and I like the idea that it's in. I like the fact that it's in the middle of the spread. On the right, we have a Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups, this too is also a card that has... Um, shows a lot of controversy with uh, among tarot readers. Um, it is a card in many tarot books, many tarot readers say that it's a moment when we question our emotions, we question our 
ideas concerning the people we love and who we hold dear in our heart. I'm subscribing to the other end of the spectrum that it um, that says it is a firm foundation for um, your uh, emotions. In the background, you can hear my phone. Um, I forgot to shut off. Underneath the King of Pentacles is the Two of Pentacles. So now this is one, two. This is the third, fourth Pentacle. So far, there is still another. The Two of Pentacles with typically speaks of change. Things that are being balanced out, moving, changing. Uh, glasses that are half, half full, half empty. Um, things that are finding their balance. They're shifting, things shifting. This is right underneath. Now, on the right, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, this is a very practical woman, a woman of passion. This is a woman who, who knows what she wants, a woman who will even wait for what she wants, but she knows that her fire and her passion uh, does define certain qualities in, in the things and the ideas that she has. And they are never, never, never defined without passion. This is a, a person of passion, and this is also an idea of passion. Now, the last card is our page of pentacles, page of coins. And we saw this page giving being proffered to many weeks ago. We saw this page eye to eye with the Queen of Swords, where the Queen of Swords had her hand up and the page wanted to give her a coin. And she was saying, wait, we need to talk. Well, this page of coins now is saying, here I am. You're going to take this coin or not? Now, uh, as I opened and I explained these tarot cards one at a time. This goes against my philosophy of reading, but I need to show you the cards and that's why I give you an initial look and I give you the idea of what the card is saying to me now. However, there is another design. There's diagonals, the overall music that the, uh, the harmony that the cards are speaking about. Now, the, oh, there is the um, troublesome at times. It could be troublesome. We'll see that with the Vera Sibila, the Tower card. And uh, also, I'd like to illuminate the Four of Wands to, to, for the benefit of the, the doubt to see how to read that Four of Wands and the Ace of, of Swords there. Just be patient a moment. I'm going to shuffle these. This will need more than just a a little shuffling this, these cards. I'm going to start with the uh, tower. So many coins. Four coins. Five coin cards. Five coin cards. This is about emotional spirituality. Spirituality is coming in. It's linked to our activity though. Um, people may be finding love on the workplace. People may be developing love on the workplace. People may be presented with love at the same time with a project. Isn't that amazing? Um, all right, let's see about this. Okay, this is um, an enigma for me. We have here the priest, Sacerdote, and then we have the Malinconia nostalgia and the, the lover looking away um, this such as dote is a very ambiguous figure he is not our um, hierophant this is an 18th century man of clergy who hides many things but he's put next to nostalgia, so this could be someone who's thinking of how they've acted in the past and are perhaps regretting it, and it may be linked to a person they love, and how maybe, perhaps, things have not gone the way they wished or planned. And um, 
let me take the Neapolitans on that to see if they could give us some insight as to um, a message of how to go about going forward from that situation. Oh, yeah, okay. This is um, quite a, uh, an important message now. Again, this we had this on uh, the 6th of May. This is the Holy Grail. Very important times, very important messages. This is what is going on now, and the people that are around you now are um, will be in your life for a long time, and it would behoove you to uh, feed into that and to develop, nurture, that's what I'm looking for, the word nurture, this relationship. Next to that is the three of wands, and three of wands is a strong bond, the development of a very strong bond, and the six of cups. Again, this came out, and this is a person of the past. Now, of course you remember that we were um, celebrating, I'm always thinking of celebrating, <laughs> we were illuminating the tower. Now, um, the tower is, a, as I mentioned, I was reading that as a, a complete overturn of a moment, a complete revolution in the way you manifest your emotions. Then we looked at the sacerdote, the priest who hid things and nostalgia for the way they were acting in the past. And this is telling us to nurture uh, relations that you have at hand uh, presently because they are very, very important for your future. Now I'd like to take a look at the swords, the ace of sword. Oh, wow. Well, um, now, we have a home. Now this is not your general home, uh, if, it, if you could see it, it looks almost like a hotel. It looks like a hotel and uh, it's not your classical home, but it could mean, say, marriage, it could mean also an institution. But it is a home that has no, it's a house that has no home, let's put it that way. And uh, next to that is love, all right, so that would be what, what would be missing. These are suggestions. Uh, the cards are telling us that the Ace of Swords is the sword of truth and it's piercing through the very nature, nature of our abode, what we call our home where we hang our hat. And we need to uh, populate that with something that perhaps might be missing. And uh, this is a friend. This is a female friend, but it's not literally a female friend. This is the idea that... Um, Love can come in many different um, packages, in many different forms. Wherever you find it is where you have to take it, bring it into your heart and bring it into your home. Make your house your home. Um, these seem to be what we call in, in, in Italian, uh, um, th these are words that seem to be you know, thrown out the wind. But the Neapolitans on this are usually very, very, they come down like an axe. They cut through right just mere words, and that's why I'm calling on them for our truth in inverted commas. Now, I'm getting the Neapol, this came out also in um, the uh, last quick fix, um, the Two of Wands, and I'll get that back to that. This is our um, page of wands, and this is the page of coins, just like this coin, right? Something is being proffered, something is going to be given, something is coming to you on a platter. You have to look for it through the words, through the gestures, through things that come your way, messages as well. Now, this too is a very antagonistic too, but as I said in on Wednesday, it is antagonism that, however, grows in harmony. Now, again, um, these are not just words thrown at the wind. Um, these are, uh, this is a message of unity despite difficulties. Unity despite difficulties. Uh, once my dad said to me, you know, 
you cannot treat men like that. You use them like handkerchiefs, you, like uh, tissues. You take them, you blow your nose, and you throw them away. And I was young. I didn't know what he was talking about. And I said, but Dad, he said, no, you cannot treat people like that. You cannot treat men like that. And I thought, okay, let, me, let him talk. I don't want to say anything. Then after many years, he said to me, you know, everybody wants you, but nobody takes you. <laughs> And I thought, this is the man who was talking to me about tissues in the past. So, you know, when messages do come your way, regardless from where they come, from fathers, from parents, from lovers, from sisters, from brothers, from friends, they are always to be, and from Christelle Martinet and the Neapolitan cards, they are always to be taken with a grain of salt and to be interpreted by you yourself. I mentioned this recently to a woman I had read with. You need to tune in to your inner voice because that is the voice that will speak to you of truth. Let me go on now to uh, the Four of Cups. I remember said that I'm reading that yeah, as a very firm foundation, emotional foundation, but there are readers who uh, talk about unsettling emotions where you're questioning your emotions. Now, this is very important stuff. This is very important stuff. Very important stuff. Now, this is the um, Imeneo. It is the card, I hope you can see that. This is the card of um, intimacy. Fire with, well, smoke coming from um, a source of heat with hands joining. And this comes next to the old safe. Um, that stands for marriage, typically a bond, a very strong institutional bond, an agreement, a contract, uh, a very firm con commitment that one makes. And this lovely, lovely um, animal, what it is, an animal, it's a um, butterfly that emerges from another animal. And um, this is a new beginning. Okay, I'm reading it as a new beginning. It also has the meaning of sex. Now, new beginnings, like I remember one reading I said to you where there was a card that came out, death and sex, and I remember saying specifically because it was, uh, I, I felt it as I was, com was coming out of my mouth, I'm saying, what are you saying to these people? But death and sex are very, very linked together. And uh, they it, symbolically, historically, in literature, in the ages, in heroes, in um, myths, uh, the world over. And uh, this symbol in these cards of sex is the butterfly. And the butterfly comes up after being rebirthed. Now, these three together, uh, and I will leave it at that, it's a lovely message, uh, signify that indeed the Four of Cups is a firm foundation, even if it is not, and it is a moment that you are questioning your emotions, be reminded that it is a, an important source of emotions that need to be, you need to ride these out regardless of the future. Right, we do have this institutional uh, bond and all of that, but we're walking and we're walking and we're walking, and we ha must remember that the journey is the most important part. It's not your husband, it's not the altar, it's not getting that person in bed, and it's not getting your first million dollars or your first paycheck. It is all about how you walk the walk and talk the talk. All right, that's enough <laughs> from Christelle Martinet. Um, I do hope that this said something to you. It was a pleasure for me to read with you. I um, am thrilled every time I have the opportunity. And thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions. I do very much appreciate it. Namaste till we meet each other again. Bye-bye.